Now to a serious problem involving the men and women who respond to your 911 calls. Tonight, we're learning ambulance providers are facing an emergency of their own. They are, quote, hemorrhaging workers, and it's a problem all over Michigan. Currently, there are more than 1,000 openings for EMTs and paramedics across the state, a labor shortage that has the potential to put lives at risk. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is taking a deeper dive into this labor shortage, how it's potentially putting lives at risk. If you or a loved one is having a medical emergency, you expect to be able to pick up the phone, call 911, and get help. But we're learning that there is a nationwide shortage of paramedics and EMTs, and it's hitting local communities hard. Email. Unconscious. Call one the urgent call came from this home in Detroit at noon last Tuesday. Engine 58 in route. What medics responding with those central? Firefighters rushed to the scene asking repeatedly for an ambulance. Engine 58 to central. Can I get a EPA on EMS, please? Engine 58, EMS, just given up. Five to seven minute EPA. It's one of hundreds of emergency calls I listened to as I investigated how the shortage of EMS workers is impacting Metro Detroit. The firefighter was there first for a long time before the medicator that got there. This neighbor says she witnessed it. They were just late getting out here. In communities all around the state of Michigan, you start in, uh, increasing delays in response times. Matt Holtkamp is operations field supervisor and paramedic for Universal Ambulance Service, which responds around Metro Detroit. There's a little cliche when it comes to EMSs. I can go make more money working at McDonald's right now and not really have to worry about taking COVID home to my daughter. COVID has absolutely made it worse. Duncan Walker is the president and general manager of Universal. He says he is at half the staff he'd like to be. If I could hire 100 people today, I would do it. EMS is not an essential service legally. The executive director of the Michigan Association of Ambulance Services, Angela Madden, says one of the problems is that while police and fire are considered essential services at the federal and state level, EMS are not. This impacts funding. Before ambulances, the, the funeral home is who would respond to you if you were to get in an accident on the side of the freeway and you had basically one of two destinations. You either went to the hospital or you went to the, the funeral home and there was no health care intervention for you. Now, while EMS provide high tech life saving care under Medicaid and Medicare, they are still reimbursed as, quote, a supplier of transportation, which receives less than a provider of health care. A statewide survey found EMTs and paramedics make between $13 and $25 an hour. She says the state recently passed a bill increasing reimbursement rates, which will help, but it still won't cover the cost of the service. Medicare covers about 30 to 35 percent. And then the private payers are where, you know, and the non and the non-insured, the uninsured are where that balancing act has been happening. So what are the solutions? Back to that 911 call in Detroit. I reached out to the family of the woman who had to wait for an ambulance. Her daughter didn't want to criticize first responders who saved her mom's life. These medical first responders save lives every day. Detroit's second deputy fire commissioner, Robert Distelrath, says Detroit firefighters and EMS crews are being trained to do both to help the city address the shortage. We have uh, about 200 some uh, medics on EMS. Uh, when the merger is complete, we're, we're going to have a thousand medics. Ambulance companies are also calling for a federal essential designation and a state bill that would fund scholarships to help people enter the field. If the pipeline goes dry, you know, it really does raise the question of what happens when you call 911. The industry insiders you heard from in this story, they say that they are speaking out because they are making a 911 call to you, asking for your help saving the system that saves so many lives. They're asking you to reach out to your lawmakers and ask for help. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.